Okay, a couple days ago I did my first video, or should I say I did a video on my first steel target. And here it is here uh, from Action Target. And today I took delivery of my second target. And this is from ShootSteel.com. This is a 9 by 12 target. It's um, rectangular and it is made of 3 8 inch thick AR 500 steel. And I also purchased with that a static target hanger. And essentially, um, you use that to hang the target. That's what it is. It's a target hanger. And you use a 2x4 to uh, actually make the pedestal part of the hanger. And you have this, what appears to be steel section, which actually hooks up with this carriage bolt to the actual target. And this is the way they sent it in a um, U.S. Priority Mail um, flat rate box. And they sent it taped with this um, very, very heavy duty uh, tape on this uh, piece of plywood. So I'm just going to use my uh, trusty knife here. And I've done a review on this one. This is the Field and Stream knife. Let's see if we can. Okay, the uh, battery is dead. I've been using it quite a bit. But uh, let's just slice this. Oh, I should have, before I did that, I should have uh, showed you that this thing was really stable. It wasn't really moving anywhere with the, uh, the tape in place. So let's just cut this. And essentially, it was just the tape holding things in place, as far as I can tell. Yes, it's taped both top and bottom. And here is the uh, hardware. This is a uh, carriage bolt, a spring, and a nut in this plastic bag, Ziploc bag and there seems to be instructions on the inside of that. Let's just take a real quick look in and see. As you might imagine, this is the first time I'm actually opening this. So this is the directions on how to actually use the uh, target hanger. They both uh, they're just on the one side. So we'll set this aside. And this is the target hanger itself. As you can see, a 2x4 uh, will fit nicely in this. So it's a uh, steel sleeve. And now we get down to the target itself. As you can see, it was taped on front and back. Okay. And this is the plywood stiffener or backing that they use for that. Okay, seems to be a little bit of uh, corrosion on that. Let's see if we can zoom in a little closer so that you can see exactly what the surface level looks like. As you can see, that's a uh, 3 8 inch thick. This is the uh, other side. There doesn't really seem to be a front or a back side of this. They seem to be, with the exception of the corrosion that was on the uh, face that was uh, facing the um, plywood board, they seem to be uh, pretty much the same. So whatever side you decide to use, that's the face. 
and of course you can uh, always use both sides of the target when you're shooting. So I'm really excited about the, finally getting into the uh, steel target uh, steel target shooting. And once again this was uh, 9 by 12 inch uh, rectangle, rectangle and they also send some information on shooting steel targets. So you have steel targets set up the actual uh, type of steel, the AR 500 steel, rimfire targets, airsoft and pellet pistol targets. It looks like it says all products, maintenance, caution. So that's very good that they actually uh, sent detailed information on how to actually use uh, this particular target and steel targets in general. And once again, I'm going to use my Siren Fish Scale, which I really haven't used in a long time. <laughs> as far as fishing is concerned. I've used it the way other things. And so let's just take a quick weight on this. And once again, I'm not sure if you'll be able to actually see the weight on this as I lift it. And this is coming in at about 12 pounds. So got a little corrosion on it but that's just surface level as you can see it just kind of wipes off as you uh, do it so that's just surface level corrosion it doesn't compromise the strength or the uh, capabilities of the steel in any measure you can see a little bit of that I guess dirt or corrosion just debris coming off of there but uh, yeah, this will get a like um, this will get uh, swabbed down a little bit, and uh, with uh, acetone perhaps, and then a spray paint coating to uh, seal everything and uh, make it more make it brighter, make it easier to actually see. So here's the one steel target and the other. As you can see, the uh, action arms one is a little more refined, but as long as it uh, holds up, the refining, like I said, this is going to get painted anyway. This will probably wind up getting painted as well. So the refinement, yeah, it looks nice and everything else, but um, I'll have to do a price comparison. I think that the uh, shoot steel is a little less expensive, and that could be because the finish isn't quite as... Uh, pretty as the um, action target. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, once again let me know what you think about uh, shooting steel because I'm really getting into this now and hopefully a little later this summer I'll have an opportunity when I go on vacation to actually use this stuff and um, hopefully I can even hit it. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.